you know, instead of doing really janky, you know, sort of in-game cuts, you know, the mm. in-game sort of yes. weird, they don't look good, and, you know, you're not controlling your character anymore, so you're completely ripped out of the experience, and you're no longer mm. looking at these events through your own eyes, and you just kind of get this bad cinematography floating about the place. I wish they just stopped those in-game cutscenes, they, uh, they kind of suck. Um, it's way better when, you know, you're just walking, like your character's yeah. just going, doing a thing, and, you know, your owl's beside you, just saying something. You know, you don't need to stick the camera in the character's face. But, you know, a, a version of Bastion that was way longer, that where all of those storylines were way longer, and actually have mm -hmm. way more character moments. Uh, you know, maybe somebody like Pelagos, uh, another person we've talked about, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, Pelagos's character arc just seems to be, um, you know pathetic right up until near the end of the covenant campaign yeah <laughs> yeah it's just like the over and over again is like here's the problem with this character that you know they don't have any self-confidence they don't have any self-confidence they have a little bit of that and then at the end it's like oh in the middle of the big battle of everybody Pelagos is like i can fight now you're like ah uh, i know we spent a decent amount of time with pelagos throughout like the campaigns but it never felt like enough it never yeah. felt like anything and it was just rushed at the end instead of an actual like journey with little bumps along the way yeah there's there's something interesting to be said about the very very like linear way that they do this the, the campaigns yeah. now i mean it's something i've praised in the past and I, mm -hmm. I generally do like from an experiential side of things like i remember shadow moon valley and you're going through yes. shadow moon valley you're getting a bit more invested in the story it's got a pretty good pace and it really just, it worked quite well as an experience. Even though I think it still would have a bunch of the issues that sort of the game is, you know, struggling with today. Um, I think it could be that for some people, the setting of Shadowlands is like inherently a bit weird and alienating. Whereas you're like, oh, I'm going back to where Valen and the Draenei, and oh, here's this URL character that, you know, goes through the, the arc and whatever. Or maybe that like just worked better for people. It, it's kind of hard to say. We're, we're in an odd space recently for the wow narrative as experienced in gameplay yeah they've got they've kind of done things i don't want to say like poorly but it's the concept the concept of shadowlands has been kind of abstract all of the ideas of like the like the tauren who you know the the, the kyrian who has got all the tauren going around it's like there is there is a clear through through line for oh that's the memories oh you're dispelling the memories hang on that's their family is this maybe a bit bad like some of that stuff does crop up here and there but it's hard to break through all of the abstract stuff that's thinking about oh this is the afterlife what happens when you know what happens when death happens in the warcraft universe you're kind of thinking about all of that as this goes and then you're doing this but in four super distinct areas and it's like it without any prior attachment to anything that's going on here it all feels i mean we we went the, there was a very big difference between passing through the veil into the shadowlands and heading to you know going through the dark portal the the the, the, the stakes were relatively similar on a grand scale but something about the execution of what each place and what each thing meant to people was very different hmm. yeah i i think some of that is basically just comes down to speed like the yeah. core campaigns were really 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 fast i think blizzard kind of knew that what would resonate well with a whole bunch of players is having these tight fast campaigns that basically get all of the lore that you need to know and <laughs> pretty much all of the xp that you'll need to to level up yes. uh and then that's that Whereas I guess there's a little bit of me and, you know, maybe it's because, you know, Preach has been doing his RPG march and all of that stuff. And maybe some of us are thinking about experiences like that. And yeah, maybe Blizzard felt like they had a little bit more freedom to just go super long in those stories. And I think if I was to look back to what I sort of ranted on about a bit earlier, that's where I'd like to see more Suramars because I think that's where Blizzard would actually have the freedom to make that stuff as expansive as they want 